it going? Charles Bodenston here. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite books that I've read probably in the last year. And, I, you know, listen, I've read a lot of books in the last year. This one is so simple. This one you need to go out and get. It just breaks everything down. He talks about his life, what he went through, how he got out of, you know, a desperate situation, to say the least, and how he came out of that, and what he did to get out of that. And... You know, I talk about it a lot is you, you need to start. But the thing is why a lot of people don't start doing something is because they see this huge mountain that they need to climb and they don't start because they're like, shit, I just see the top, but I don't see how to get there. They don't see all the steps on the way. And plenty of people have talked about that. Plenty of people have said, just start and the steps will, you know, lay itself out. In other words, all you have to do is you'll get there if you consistently, as Darren Hardy says in, in The Compound Effect or as Jeff Olson says in The Slight Edge, is that if you just do 1%, a little bit better every single day, just 1%, over the course of a year, you're 365% better every single day, just a little bit better, compounding it. But the thing is, in those books, they don't talk about just doing and starting small. And that's essentially what the Mini Habits book is about. Mini Habits... It, it, when you, know, you know what it does is it frees your mind, all right? The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, link is below. I did a review on that. Unbelievable book as well. But that's really about the scientific nature of habits, how we get them, why we get them, why they're hard to break. You know, I think it was um, uh, Warren Buffett that said that the chains of habit are too strong to be broken until, or the chains of habit are, are easy to, they're too hard to break, but they're they're hard to form but easy to break, you know, something along that line. In other words, habits, especially bad habits, they're really a chain to us. They're, 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 they bring us down. And mini habits essentially allows you to break out of the chains slowly every single day. So the mini habit, the basic principle of the mini habit is, is, is essentially that, is that I can tell you everything in this video, what the mini habit is about. But when you read it and you, you hear the concepts in the book, Link is below. Uh, it really un you really understand what Charles Duhigg should have said in his book. And Charles Duhigg did an amazing job in The Power of Habit, but in Mini Habits, it's like, oh, okay, you know what? This million dollars that I eventually wanna make starts at making 20,000, then 21,000, then 22,000, then 23,000. And listen, one year you can have 30,000, then next year 100,000. But once someone wants to go from zero to a million or go from 200 pounds to 150 pounds, in other words, losing weight, or if you're looking to bench press a certain amount, it's like, no, 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 no. He talks about doing one push up every single day. All right? So he had something terrible happen in his life, and he really, he was in a bad, he just was in a bad place. And he's like, listen, he was really unhappy. And as this one woman, Natalie Jill, I just saw her on Lewis Howe's podcast. Unbelievable. And she was in that. She was in a really, really bad, terrible place. She was pretty much bankrupt. She lost her house. She was going through a divorce. She was pregnant. Uh, she just had no money. Her credit cards, when she was filling up gas, got declined and she just hit this rock bottom. And when you hit a rock bottom, she said, you have to just decide. You just decide, as Will Smith says in one of those motivational vid videos, you just decide, this is it. Today is the day, no more. But then when you say that, what do you do? And that's where the Mini Habits book comes in, is that you start with one push-up. You start with one phone call for calling for business. You, you eat one salad. You put on the gym clothes and drive to the gym and just stand in the gym. And then the next day, you go to the gym in your gym clothes and you get on the treadmill for 10 seconds and you get off. The next day, you go for 30 seconds. And that's how many habits start. And that's where, honestly, I've failed. If, if we're honest, is that that's where I failed, is that I thought I needed to go from zero to 150,000 miles an hour like that. I was like, I need to make 70 phone calls tomorrow. Meanwhile, I haven't made any so far. And that's the thing is that we don't even start. If we, if the, the, the goal is so high, I want to make a million dollars this year, but you've only made 
the most in your life, 50,000, a million dollars, that's a big leap. And then you don't even do the things necessary to make a million dollars because you're like, whoa, okay. And then you stop and then you never do it. It's the same thing with any habit. So what he says is that you have to start small. One push-up. Next day, two push-ups. Three push-ups. Make one phone call. You know, say I love you once, whatever the case is. And this is the funny thing is he says, once you do one push-up, he says, you want to do another one. Then you want to do another one. Then you do another one. He goes, once you start, that's the biggest thing. But start small. And if you do one, awesome. Next day, but the thing is, it's consistency. It's consistency and, and the other is that it's small. It's tiny, it's minute. It, it's like, whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm looking around for something, it's like eating healthy. One salad one day. Then the next day you have a salad and then broccoli. The next day you have salad, broccoli, and more water instead of coffee or iced tea or something like that. Iced tea that's sweetened, not unsweetened. So it's many habits. It's consistency. That's the biggest thing is that it's consistency. I just did a podcast about the process. Consistency every single day. Showing up whether you like it or not. You have to show up. The third thing is that you're going to you're gonna consistently do it once you start. You're not going to just do one push-up. You're going to want to do more once you're at the gym. But that's how a habit starts. You will get, as Stephen Pressfield talks in The War of Art, you will get resistance. As um, what's his name says in, in his amazing book, I, I forgot his name, a young guy, 27 years old, he wrote a uh, bestseller, uh, I forgot his name right now, but you will hit resistance. And he talks about writing. Write 10 words, write 50 words, write one word. If you're a writer or you're, you're a publisher or you're looking to do anything, a blog post, whatever, start small, okay? It's consistency, you're gonna run into resistance and the fourth thing is that with the power of habit is once you do a consistency, don't take on too much. And I fell prey to this is that you do one thing, consistency for 60 days, they talk about 60 to 90 days, it's not 30 days. 30 days is not a habit. You're gonna go right back into your sugar eating, not going to the gym or whatever you're trying to do. When you wake up, wake up one minute earlier every single day, and then by day 60, you're 60 minutes earlier than you were two months ago. Two months go like that, it's quick. So that's the biggest thing is that do one habit. Don't be like, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna eat right, I'm gonna make phone calls, I'm gonna say I love you, I'm gonna do this, and do no, no, no. You just do little, make one phone call today, and then we'll work on the gym, we'll work on eating right. And this is the funny thing is, is that don't do all at once, but he says, once you start doing a consistency, like saying go to the gym, you're gonna to wanna to eat right. Then you're gonna to wanna to make phone calls, and it bleeds into every single area of your life. You gotta pick up the book. It has changed my mentality of habits, because the power of habit, it, it essentially said there's a trigger to every habit. You know, watching reality TV, or having a drink, or going out with the boys, or spending money, or gambling, or if you're an alcoholic, or if you're a workaholic, whatever. Uh, there's a trigger that makes you do something, and there's a reason, there's a feeling that you're going for. Many habits essentially says if you want to break a habit and start a new habit, you have to do it very minute, you have to do a consistency, you can't overload yourself, and you will hit resistance. So that's the expectations. Pick up the book, it was amazing. Uh, I can't say enough about it, and... All the links are below to Charles Duhigg's review and to Mini Habits book review, or no, book in Amazon. I get like 20 cents. It supports the channel so I can continuously do this, maybe upgrade, maybe get a camera instead of my iPhone. Anyway, have an awesome day. Snapchat, Instagram, subscribe to the videos. Leave the comments below about what book you recommend or any thoughts you have. Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon.